CNC technology refers to the use of a machine to process a material into a specific part and design for a product. The abbreviation CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control. The technology employed currently is too advanced since you can be altered without touching the material, which can be done in a short amount of time. The CNC machine will carry out the task by following the process code, which is the machine language. The procedure will be run by the machine and the conductor may only be able to observe the process without touching anything. CNC technology is used in almost every industry that advance technology. Students can work on the project that could turn into innovative or unique product for everyday usage and they can do so with the help of CNC machine. One of the essential items that everyone should have is a phone holder. There are a variety of phone holders design available right now, including those who can be stuck on the floor or a mirror, stand using magnet, and so on. So adding a few applications to the phone holder, such as a little illumination and mini storage is the innovation of the phone holder. As a result, skills are required to arrange the machine movement in order to ensure that design is good and the product is of high quality. This group will construct the phone holder coding to ensure that the design of the phone holder meet the requirement and include some application. The primary objective of this mini project is first to create a phone holder that can be used as a desk accessory. Second, to use CNC milling programming to emulate the coding of our phone holder project. Third, to identify a suitable cutting tool used in the milling process of our phone holder project. Fourth, to align, secure, and adjust workpiece and cutting tool needed for our phone holder project. And lastly, to interpret geometric dimensioning and tolerance of our phone holder project. The CNC code was first developed using the Sinutrin program. In the Sinutrin software, the stock was chosen and a tolerance of 0.2 mm was specified to avoid the machine colliding with the workpiece table. The simulation was repeated several times to guarantee that the intended outcome was achieved. The first step in process planning is, we generate CNC code by using Sinotrim software. After that, we'll fill in the blanks to define the form and dimension of the workpiece. Then we set the parameter of the workpiece for facing process to get a good finishing. We set the contour according to size of our product. The control programming is a support tool for the editor. The contour programming function enables us to create a simple or compact contour. After that, we do the fillet process based on the contour that have been made before by calling the cycle contour. Then we do the chamfer process with the same method of doing fillet process by calling the cycle contour. Next, we do the first pocket slot by using the contour cycle and milling pocket. For this cycle, we are using the longitudinal groove with helical insertion strategies to avoid the tool from damage. For the second pocket, we use the same method as the first pocket. For the engraving process, we use the engraving features with a depth of card of 0.2 mm. Finally, the machining process was done successfully after the workpiece is being removed from the machine. And this is our final product for this project. Hi, Assalamualaikum. I am Muhammad Hazik and I will explain about our NC code. Our NC code started with a header in the green highlight in this green highlight shows the linear feed, absolute dimension, work offset, and XY plane. Next, the highlight is the tool selection of what kind of tools we're gonna use. Then, in the blue highlight shows the speed of spindle, 
and direction of the tools that gonna cut which is clockwise included with a coolant activation. In the yellow highlight shows the calling contour named Island that have been made in contour milling features. After that, we call another contour called Pocket 1 using the contour cycle milling features. Last but not least, the red highlight represents the code for spinner stop, coolant stop and the end of the program. This is our simulation result on Sinutrain software. This is our final product result. In conclusion, we achieved all the objective above. What we can conclude from this report is we are able to study the meaning of CNC which stands for Computer Numeral Control. Unlike the software is the regular computer, the computer has a very detective software because this software is specifically designed for CNC machine. The use of CNC machine is to manufacture items such as virtual parts, accessories and many more that have a very compact nature. The advantage of using this CNC machine or the machine is very accurate measuring so it will not have error in measuring the object unless the user enters the wrong measurement. The code that used in CNC computer is called G-code. It's very complicated to learn at first glance but your work will be simple and quick once you expert on coding the G-code. In conclusion, through this project, we were able to uncover the meaning of CNC or computer numerical control, unlike the software on a standard computer. The software on this computer is specially developed for CNC machines. CNC machines are used to create objects with a high level of complexity such as car parts and accessories. The benefits of using this CNC machine also include the high accuracy in measuring, which means it will not make an error in measuring the object unless we provide the incorrect measurement. Getting started with a CNC machine might seem daunting at first. We do need a CNC program to run the CNC machine. We use Sinotrain Siemens software. This software lets us create the program that instructs the machine how and where to cut whether we need to make an engraving or form a machine part. Some of this software package such as G-Codes Generator provide a plugin to make use it much easier. We learned how to configure the milling machine and comprehend the operation as either a result of these studies. Further from all of that, we also recognize what the primary components of this machine are for. We also learn from the laboratory procedure that the cutter diameter should be chosen so that it does not interfere with features or other components in the setup. Before we start the operation, we ought to make sure the milling cutter we'll be using is indeed not dull. Last but not least, the laboratory activities also taught us something about the numerous milling machines and cutters that are available for various milling process in the manufacturing industry. I think that's it for our conclusion findings.